What's up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll review the Kodak Slide and Scan Film and Slide Scanner. This is a pretty cool device that lets you easily and immediately see color or black and white film negatives and slides on a digital screen, and easily save a digital copy of the picture to an SD card. I will go through all of the features. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Now let's get started. So I have a bunch of film negatives from 20 years ago. I've moved several times and keep dragging these things around with me. Thanks to this device, I will actually get to do something with them. Let's check it out. This is what the kit includes. A digital scanner, a 50mm by 50mm hinge slide holder, a 135mm film adapter, a 110mm film adapter, a 126mm film adapter, a cleaning brush, a USB cable for powering the scanner and for connecting it to a computer, an HDMI cable for connecting the scanner to a television, and a user manual. An SD card is also required, but not included, so you must supply your own and 32 gigabytes is the maximum size card that it can support. Anything greater than 32 gigabytes will not work. Now let's get into it. Looking at the scanner, the front is the LCD screen. The top has selection buttons. The back is where you insert the cords and memory card. And the side is where you insert the slides and film. First, insert the SD card. This is where all of the digital copies will be saved. Next, insert the USB cord to power the scanner. The USB end can be plugged into the wall with an adapter, or it can be plugged into any USB power supply. I will plug it into a laptop. Next, press the power button to turn on the scanner. You will see four options. Film type, USB upload, gallery, and set date and time. We will check them all out in detail. First we'll start out with film type. Select this to look at film and slides. I have color 135mm film. So I will select color negative, then 135 film. That's it. Now we're ready to look at film. To see this film, we need to set up the 135 adapter. The 50x50 50 50 hinge slide holder is always used, but if you're not running slides, the adapter needs to be installed. There are four locating holes in the holder, and the film adapters have four mating pegs that line up with the holes in the holder. Set it in and close the hinge holder. Now it's sized for the 135mm film. While inside the scanner, you just slide the film through and center the pictures in the window like this. Now insert the holder into the scanner and you are ready to go. The pictures will be shown on the screen as you slide the film through. Pretty easy. After 20 years of dragging these negatives around, I can finally see them instantly just by stuffing them into this machine. No need to go to the store to get copies printed. I don't even know if stores still do that. Now, there are a couple of options while viewing the pictures. One, you can change the resolution. There are two choices, 14 megapixels or 22 megapixels. Two, you can adjust the brightness between light and dark all the way light and all the way dark and back to default. 3. You can adjust the RGB which is the red, green and blue light. 4. For this we go back to the main menu. Select Set Date and Time to set the day and the time that you want attached to the digital copy. Note that you don't really have to do any adjustments. You can use the default settings, which are pretty good, and you could edit the photo effects on your computer with a photo editing program later, if needed. Once everything is how you want it, just press the OK Picture button to save a digital copy to the SD card. It's pretty easy. Slide the film over to the next picture, get the picture centered on the screen, and press the OK Picture button to save it. Now, to finish up, 
let's take a look at the last two main menu options. Gallery. This is to view the pictures that are saved on the SD card on the scanner screen. From here, you can also run a full screen slideshow of all of the saved pictures. But I'm not going to run it in this video because there's a ton of pictures on here with people's faces and stuff, and I would just have to blur them all out. And the last main menu option is USB upload. This is to connect the SD card to the computer. You can access the contents of the SD card from your computer through the USB cord. Or to view the pictures saved on the SD card, you could just insert the SD card right into the computer. It's the same thing, just accessing what is saved on the SD card. And last is the HDMI cable. This allows you to connect the scanner to a television, and the scanner screen is shown on the television instead of the scanner. All functions are the same, it's just displayed on the television instead. This could be nice for showing friends the gallery pictures or running a slideshow on a larger screen. Again, I'm not showing the gallery or slideshow in this video because my SD card is full of top secret pictures. So I think that covers it. This is a pretty cool product that makes viewing film and saving digital copies easy. Here are some pictures from 2003 to close out the video. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Drop any comments below and I'll see you in the next video.